What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get started, I gotta go through a quick disclaimer. This MTT601A tripod I bought with my own money, paid cash for it. This is mine, I bought it. This one, however, was sent to me to do a review on. Let's go. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Justin and on my channel you'll find tips and tutorials on all things filmmaking as well as different product reviews and unboxing videos just like what we're about to get into today. They sent me this tripod to actually do a full review on and I was actually super excited because I had bought it about two months ago. So when they contacted me and offered to send one out, I was ecstatic. I was like, yes, definitely do it. Now I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with two tripods. I have used everything from the cheap sand pack tripod from Best Buy to the 3Pod V3AH, a newer tripod, and none of them even come close to this one. The first thing I like to point out is the build quality. It's made out of aluminum, but if comparing this one to the 3Pod and the newer tripods I own, it's significantly thicker and has a more stable feel when it's extended to its full length. Another thing I'd like to point out is the fluid head difference between the two. It extends to a max height of 60 inches with a max payload of 22 pounds. 22 pounds is a lot. Like we think about that for a second. Your gimbal, for the most part, a crane tube will support up to a 10 pound payload. We're talking about a 22 pound max payload. Even my full shoulder rig is not going to add up to 22 pounds. So that's saying a lot. If you're shooting with big cameras like the Ursa Mini or maybe an FS7 or C300 fully rigged out, you're in pretty good shape using this tripod. I also love the latch and unlatch system for raising and lowering the tripod. It's a very satisfying click. It almost snaps into place when you get to a certain point. My old newer tripod just basically fell apart on this aspect. The lashes are now missing screws and with a good push it'll just lower. It's just all around not a good tripod but I bought it like I said trying things out. Now my favorite thing about this tripod and the main reason you should consider buying it is the fluid head. If you're shooting video this is a must. It's a must. It is a must. It has a counterbalance and a fixed pan and tilt drag. For those of you that don't know drag is basically the ability to adjust the resistance when panning and tilting. Basically, Basically, you get some buttery smooth pan and tilts with this. It features a 501 quick release system, which is another huge perk because all of my gear has the 501 quick release plates attached to it. Even my Zion Crane 2 has a 501 plate, so I can just go straight from the gimbal to the top of the tripod, buttery smooth. Oh, and it features a built-in safety catch. Mistakes happen. One thing that really grabs my gears about the three pod tripod, and probably the reason I haven't done a review on it, is the fact that no matter how tight you think you have it, it's still not tight enough. You literally have to crank down on this thing to try to keep the ball from moving and even then it still slides or with enough force or enough pan and tilts you can actually just end up loosening it and it's just it's just not an all around good locking system. The MTT601A doesn't require half as much torque when it comes to tightening the fluid head or the pan and tilt locks. All in all it's an impressive tripod and it's priced just shy of $200 at $179. If you're in the market for a good pair of sticks, I suggest this one as I have almost every single other budget tripod that there is. And honestly, I'm tired of buying tripods. This is a good one. Like, I'm sold. I'm very, very happy with it. Ah, oh, crap. The only thing that I dislike is you can't actually adjust the pan and tilt drag, but that's not a deal breaker. It has built in resistance, which is amazing. It works great. You instantly feel it when you go to pan or tilt. You can feel that resistance kind of kick in and just kind of almost guide you into the movement rather than that jerky weird motion you get with some of the cheaper tripods like my newer or my three pod. But that is all I got for you. If you're interested in buying this tripod, I will leave a link to it down in the description box below. I really appreciate you guys for watching and I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure y'all share this to some of y'all filmmaking homies and homets. Oh.